Hi, this is Terence from Pinpoint Africa Media. If you're watching this video, then you have taken an important step to successful online advertising. Advertising is about getting results, and unlike other forms of advertising, professionally trafficked internet ads provide a wealth of data to help you understand your campaign's performance. For those of you that want to monitor your campaign's performance in real time, we will give you access to the data server, where you can simply check in from time to time, generate standardized reports, and share those reports with other people in your organization. After logging in with your username and password, you will arrive at the ad server homepage that looks like this. To start, let's go over to the eye center on the right hand side. The eye center provides access to four kinds of information advertisers, campaigns, customers, and reports. The advertiser and customer functions are designed for advertising agencies that serve multiple clients. Since most of you are probably not from an agency, today we'll focus on only the campaign and reports functions. So now, let's assume you want to do a quick check-in just to see how your campaign is performing. Select the Campaigns option and you will see a list of your recent campaigns. To demonstrate, I'm going to select uh, this could be your ad campaign that is trafficked to all the sites in our network. I'll not take a lot of time pointing out all the information available to you here but I'll focus on a few key things. First, the start and end date are pretty much self-explanatory. As you see, this campaign started on October the 29th, 2012. Over here on the right, you will see that so far this campaign has delivered over 22 million impressions, received 70,000 clicks and a little more to our website has an overall click-through rate of 0.32%. This means that this campaign was clicked 3.2 times for every 1,000 ad displays. The international average click-through rate uh, for display ads is about 0.24%. So I'm pretty happy with this campaign. Chances are it is this campaign that brought you to our website today. Now, let's move on to reports, which provide a much greater level of detail and insight. Going back to the eye center, I now select reports. Again, you have the multiple options, but the customer and advertiser reports are really geared for uh, ad agencies. So we'll deal with campaign reports. On the left, you will see a list of your recent campaigns. The green flag uh, shows reports that are no longer running, reports that are completed. The globe symbol indicates an active campaign. Again, we will use this could be your ad campaign to take a closer look. To generate a report, click the order report icon on the far right. This will open a window that shows the various types you can create. We're going to generate a standard report. The standard report contains the most essential information you need to understand your campaign's performance. Click the plus sign next to the standard to see the options available to you. To get a good summary, I will select Overview with Demographic Data Report. After selecting the type of report, the next step is to select the date range for your report. You can look at any period of time you want. For this example, I'm going to select the month of May 2013. On the top right, you will see an option to select the display options. You can get the data in Excel, XML, and CSV so you can analyze it further. In HTML format, if you, dis if you simply want to see the report on your screen, or in PDF format if you want something you can print and email to others. I will select the PDF format and to generate the report, I simply click on the order button. 
Reports take about three minutes to generate. To save time, I had already created this report earlier. To see that report, I click on the plus sign next to the campaign name. This will show me all the reports that I have created for this campaign. As you can see, the report I just ordered is still being created. This is indicated by the spinning hourglass. Reports that were already generated are available for now. We'll have this box with a green tick. I select the report I created earlier. It will ask to save the PDF. I will accept to save it and then open it. This is the report I just opened and generated a few minutes ago. The first page summarizes the report by name and date range. It also gives you the campaign name. Uh, as I told you, this, is the, this could be an ad campaign that you run through the network. And the network is Pinpoint Africa Media. This report was uh, generated for the date ranges from the 1st of May to the 31st of May. And it was created today on the 6th of uh, June 2013. The second page gives you a jump menu to the various groups of information available in the report. You can click on any of them to see the details or you can scroll down through the report. For example, if you click by campaign, you jump to the overview data for that campaign, including the number of ad impressions delivered, the number of clicks the campaign received, the click-through rate, and the different people that saw your campaign. As you can see, this campaign was delivered over 3 million times to 1 million different people. It received 15,000 clicks, a little over 15,000 clicks to our website, and had an impressive click-through rate of 0.5%. Scrolling down, you go to your campaign performance by date. This can be very useful because you may find that your campaign achieves a higher click-through rate on certain days of the week, such as weekdays. So why would you run your campaign on weekends if it performs better during the week? Scrolling down a little further, I see by banner section of the report. Here you can compare how each different banner ad is performing. This can be very useful information. For example, Perhaps you have two different types of creative, each designed to achieve the same objective, but you aren't sure which ad will perform better. Run both versions of the creative at the same time, and after a few days, compare the results and stop the weaker performing campaign. As you can see, you can see the number of impressions each banner received, the number of clicks, and the click-through rate for each. Next, we see by website section of the report where you could compare how the campaign is performing on different websites. You can even see how your campaign performs during the different hours of the day. This can be very useful for promoting time-bound events. For example, if you're promoting an after-work happy hour, you would probably find that your campaign performs best Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. when people are thinking about what to do after work. Small adjustments like these are how we optimize your campaign to get the most out of your advertising budget and increase your return on investment. As you can see, we are only about halfway through the report. We don't have time to go through all the information now. However, I hope you see the amount of data available to you and how it can be used to maximize your results. There is so much more you can do. You can create standardized reports or customized reports. You can set up automatic reports that you receive by email, and you can even subscribe other people in your organization to receive these reports if you wish. We encourage all advertisers to utilize this resource. Use the data to make informed decisions about your marketing strategy and maximize the impact of your campaigns. Thank you very much for your time and we look forward to working with you. 
If your customers are online and in Tanzania, we can help you reach them.